Coming up, I'm going to talk about how Christianity came to Kenya in Mombasa. First of all, you need to know the the, the place you're seeing is called Rabai. It's a, a mission a missionary called uh, Dr. Craft. Uh, the place was established by a missionary called Dr. Ludi Craft, who came to Mombasa and established this mission in 150 years ago. To be more specific, the mission was established in 1846. A part of spreading the Christian message in Kenya hinterland, it also played a major role in em emancipation of slaves in East Africa. So what you're seeing here in the building, this is the place where is the first mission church that was built by Dr. Ludi Craft himself. It has been standing for all these years. So you can see the altar here, the cross as you're seeing, the place where uh, the, the father, Mr. Ludi Craft himself used to stand. As the picture you're seeing over there, that's a picture of a statue of a father. And of course, you can see the pictures over there of how they used to dress. Uh, so literally this place you're seeing is how it was or is up to today, the church originally was yeah so the windows the pictures themselves the the the, the walls uh the, the the chairs the the tables everything is the same the way it was originally built by the missionary uh, themselves at that time as you can see also they have their the, uh, you see those uh, statues are there, of course, objects over there. Those are the original objects which have been preserved in this museum. So right now they've turned this place to become a museum. So that's the reason why I'm able to record all this right now. And I'm so excited about this history because uh, it's very good because it shows that what we learn is actually what happened th those days. And we can see how they have been able to preserve it. So this is the knowledge of what happened those days and today i can account and say christianity is well uh, permanently in mombasa and of course across uh, the whole of kenya and of course the whole of east africa so remember this place uh, it, as much as they had come here to do uh, uh, to, to spread Christianity, they also played a huge role in terms of stopping slave trade. They literally, the villagers who were staying at this place, all of them were bought, they were free slaves. Yes, they were free slaves. So they em emancipated the slaves who were living around Rabai and of course a place also called Mazeras. So there's a free, uh, there's a, a slave village. Or should I say free slave village around Mazeras, Rabai, and also the other 14 villages which uh, have been documented in this Dr. Ludi Craft uh, Museum. So right now this church originally has been turned to become a museum. All these people you are seeing here, those are the missionaries who came at that time. So they spread out around East Africa just to spread Christianity, as you can see all that. Uh, so I just wanted you guys to see a bit of the history. Uh, you see the the the... the the objects over there they used to, to use for praying. Okay, you can see the Dr. Ludi Craft himself. They the they picture itself, and uh, they told they, they they said his story and everything about him. Actually, yes. Uh, uh, he died in his country. Yeah, when he was sick, he was taken to he was taken back to his country, and of course he let uh, he left behind uh, his number two who was able to carry on his work. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, as you pro progress to watch this video, I hope you will learn one, two, three things. So please bear with me. Uh, there's some places where I have not really, really talked, and I hope you will be able to enjoy. If you have any questions, drop your comments. Let me know what you think. So how Rabai came about. Rabai is a well-known in the annals of history as a place where Christianity and modern learning in Kenya started well over 150 years ago. In 1998, the Craft Memorial Museum was founded to give formal and perpetual reminder to monument events during the advent of early missionaries. So here we are going to talk about how Rabai came about, how Dr. Louis Craft came about. So who is mm -hmm. Dr. Louis Craft? Uh, he was a German missionary of the Church Society of England who arrived in Rabai and spread Christianity in the region. He was warm, warmly welcomed uh, by the Rabai people. And of course, the leader was called Jindwa, the village lead, elder, and later was given 92 acres of land by the Kaya elders. So together with jo Johann Rebman, Rebman was his number two. In 1846, they then began building a church, which was the pioneer church, followed by a school and later cottages. So the church of St. Paul's Church is still is used today. So here, this is the church called St. Paul's Church, the one which I am taking all this video in the original church which is still standing up today 
which they preserve it. That's the reason I'm able to do this video. So the objects which you are seeing here, they're originally used by Dr. Dudley Craft 150, over 100 years ago. You can see his picture there. That's basically Dr. Ludicraft himself. The church, the building, the roofing, everything, the way it stands originally, that's how it was. I'm being told even the windows, they are the same originally built by Dr. Ludicraft himself. So Dr. Ludicraft, he's the, he's the first person who, who published or should I say created a Swahili grammar besides his dictionary, so in six languages. So this is the person who literally uh, brought education for the first time in Kenya, in Rabai, in Mombasa, for the first time ever, all right? So he established a school, he, he, he made a, gram, uh, a dictionary, and also at the same time, he also helped Africans, the locals around the area, to be freed from slavery. And of course, in the process, he was able to create over 14 villages around uh, Mombasa region. So he literally did a, a lot of good work. So, so Dr. Ludicraft himself, he used to preach against slave trade and slavery, thus discouraging it among Africans and attracting more people into Christianity. So the earliest people who were taught, who went to classes, all came from around this place. As you can see here in this picture, you can see this, this the picture which I'm showing here, this is a slave freedom certificate. All those slaves used to be given a certificate once you are em emancipated. Once you become free, you used to be given a free uh, a certificate to show that you are no longer a slave. And of course, every time these uh, people who wanted to buy slaves, they, they, they encounter you, you, of course, you they'll be shown the certificate and of course, they'll leave you alone. You can see there you're seeing the horns this is an elephant tusker uh, it, it was originally used those days uh they lost his they family, some of them but he never and of course, gave as you up. can see here all or right in the pictures uh, the uh, they are documenting them so the language is a barrier also was all seeking to reach for here out to is the the islam was deeply entrenched in mombasa and along the coast proved impossible for car to convert the tax from war and support and authority such as the massage in the lands of east africa so and then of course you can see all that dr ludic challenges of course, he encountered the Kennedy craft was uh, Arabs were along the coastal region of Mombasa, East African region. So, of course, uh, by the time he wanted to, to spread here, Christianity, it was different. But when he came to he, in the uh, interior, that is a long ride so by, and of course, John other parts of the interior in Africa, he was able to convince the locals, and they became Christian, and also Christianity spread around the East African region, around the Eastern region of um, Africa. I'm not gonna so read, the pictures you're seeing all this, I'm this is how uh, they're showing so where the Christianity in spread it. in the it's interland of here. Africa and of mm -hmm. course uh, some of the missionaries yeah, who passed okay away, of course uh, they, are, they were buried in Africa read. along their, you their missions it, and, and then of you course can you can see also the pictures there like how the people used to dress the next one is the villages, how they used to be the impact of craft missionary work how the villages used to stay you know, that's how they used to leave the villages, you see those hats Look the round that. hats and all this stuff. That's how Mijikenda people used to live. When I say Mijikenda people, that uh, is basically the nine tribes found along the so coastal peaceful. region of Mombasa, yeah. and they are and called Mijikenda. Of course, Africa, under Mijikenda, there are nine tribes under it, and of course, they are from there you find the Duruma, the Achoni, the Rabai, the Giriyama, and many other sub-tribes under Mijikenda. Anyway, I'm just giving a brief view of the history of what Rabai Tells. So a that's how Christianity came in, in, in Kenya. That's how Christianity to came to Rabbi. And Ludwig, Dr. Ludwig Krapp is the so one who spread out. Please watch this video up to the end. Uh, and Ludwig I hope Krapp you enjoy it. Right? So I hope you can pause it and just read. So where I am right now, this is literally the first church. This is where he built his church.
than it is. It's just like a